welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be doing a DIY advent calendar. I told you guys in some of my other videos that we have a lot planned for December, and this was one of the things that I wanted to show you guys what we are doing. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I ended up finding this advent calendar. This one is $15.99 and I got it for half off. And then I also have these that I got there and these are just the numbers that I'm going to be putting on the front of the boxes. So you can put any kind of design or numbers that you want on your boxes. If you go on Pinterest, they have a bunch of different ideas. And then even on here, they kind of give you a little idea of what it would look like. So I ended up getting these. And then I also got some snowflakes that were sitting right next to the box and I thought that would be cute to add to it. So I will be spray painting these today. Um, so some of the things that I also that you will need with this is, I have some Christmas cardstock. So we will be putting these on the face of the little drawers. And then I have glue, pencil, scissors. I have my spray paint. And then I have the stuff that I'm going to be putting inside. I also have larger pieces of cardstock because these are gonna go on the side of the advent calendar. And then I also have a Christmas countdown, um, like, let's see, like the story of Christmas in each one of the, on each one of these, and I will fold these and put these in the box also. I also did one a couple years ago and we did a toilet paper roll one and that one was really fun. I don't think I have a video on that one. I don't think I was doing videos at the time. So we're gonna get started and I'm going to be spray painting these first because I want these dry by the time that I start my boxes. Uh, we are going to be hot gluing these. So you need a hot glue gun or some kind of glue that is gonna hold these onto your drawers. Um, and then if you end up not getting this, then you can just get sticker numbers and stick them on the front. But I figured I would just use the clothes pins on for um, putting them on the drawers. I'll just clip these on. I'm not gonna do anything with these. We're just gonna use them as is. So I'm gonna spray paint these. I have a piece of, let me show you. I just have a tiny little piece of wood here that I'm going to be putting the snowflakes on. I'm just gonna lightly spray these so that they're not fully coated because I want some of that wood look to come through. So I went ahead and spray painted the little snowflakes. As you can tell, I have so much paint on my fingers right now. And then we are going to open up this. I didn't open it up yet. So I'm gonna use one of the boxes as my template for making the front of the box. So I'm just gonna grab random ones and trace on there. Okay, so I can get probably two of them out of one box. So I'm going to, I'm actually gonna go this direction so I can see where I need to cut the little hole on the inside. So I'm just gonna trace where I need to cut it. And then I can use one of them as my template. So that's what I'm gonna be following and I'll give it a try once. So let's see if I'm able to, so I'm able to get two boxes out of one design. This is what it's gonna look like when you put it on the front. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these out and I will come back.
line it up and this is what your box are gonna look like so when you do this try to keep track of like how many different designs you're gonna have in in order not that you put like two of these in the same you want it to kind of look staggered a little bit so and i will show you what my boxes look like and then we'll move on to the next step So I'm finished up cutting, Hudson's gonna cut up the rest. And if you guys want these, you can get them off of Pinterest. All I did is look up printable um, advent calendar um, Bible quotes, and you can go on there and just print them off. And I thought these were cute because they're Christmassy. I'm gonna move on to the next step now. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to use this card stock and I'm going to place it on the sides of the box. So I'll just measure it out and then um, glue stick it on. Make sure you are putting the lettering if it, there's a pattern, make sure you follow the pattern. So I'm gonna trace this, cut it out, and I'm gonna do all sides and come back. all the sides on the advent calendar on the outside and I have everything on the front of the boxes. So now we're gonna move on to hot gluing the little snowflakes all over. So this is what they turned out like. I just put a little bit of dusting of white and then this is, this is the black or this is the back part. So the back part, you could kind of go maybe one on like this or one like this. It all depends on what you want to do. You could do red and green and, you know, mix the colors or whatever. But I just kind of wanted to do uh, the white color. So I'm heating up my glue gun and we are going to get started with that and put these on. So I have all the snowflakes glued on to the front of the boxes. Now I'm gonna take these numbers and I'm going to put them on each box. So I'm gonna start out with 
the number one right here and then go all the way down. I have all the numbers on the front of the boxes. I noticed that the snowflakes are kind of in the way of where I put the numbers, but that's okay. So when we count down, we'll take the clip off, put it in the basket, and then you'll have the decorated snowflakes on. So now I'm gonna take the little countdown things and I'm gonna put them in the number that they belong. So I am going to start out with number one and put them all the way in and I will come back. took out all the baskets out. I wish I would have did that when I did the paper. That would have made things a little bit easier. But now I'm going to be putting the treats and stuff inside. Um, you can add whatever you would like that you can fit in here. I know some people put like little trinkets and maybe like Lego guys or all different things inside theirs. But we just usually do candy. Okay, so I put all the candy and stuff inside. I still need to get some more because I didn't have enough for eight kids to all have a piece of candy. So I have to get another um, two bags of the Hershey Kisses. Uh, but that last year, I think we added like all different kinds of candy. This year, we're just gonna keep it simple and add the Hershey Kisses. So this is what it ended up, oops. This is what it ended up looking like. So that's pretty cute. And then, um, so like I said, after every day, we'll just take this off and then we'll put it in, oops. So every day we'll, we'll take the clip off and then we'll just stick it inside and then they'll be able to see the snowflakes and stuff on there. So that's pretty cute. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything about this, if you want to know where to get stuff like this, I can give you more information. I kind of told you a little bit that I got most of it at Hobby Lobby. Um, but there are so many different ones that you guys can create doing this. Uh, I just thought this was really cute to do it this way this year and we are going to have fun with this. Leave me a comment down below what you guys do for advent calendars. Do you buy the traditional ones at the store or do you guys make your own? Why don't you leave me a comment down below and I would love to hear from you guys. If you guys liked my video today, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.